welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and if you have heard about arc or eARC you know that sometimes we have compatibility issues between devices on our multimedia setup if you still haven't heard then just search for arc and you will find that info but basically it is a way to transmit the best image and audio quality possible and take advantage of our devices on our setup now one of the things that it's really common on a daily basis is that we have our multimedia setup including our tv and then we decide to get a new tv which comes with all the bells and whistles in terms of image quality and audio codecs and so on and so forth arc technology or e-arc technology but then we will find out that one or two of other our devices are not compatible with those technologies and that is exactly where the HDA 9 to 9 comes in handy it will make all these devices talk to each other regardless if they are compatible or not now talking about compatibility if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out keys fan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below which will be next to the link for the HDA 9 to 9 which supports up to 4k 60 Hertz 24 bit a lot of audio codecs and a lot of information that I will put here on screen but nonetheless check the link down below for all those specifications which at the end of the day are very important when we are deciding one of these devices now in terms of the unboxing experience we will find inside the package the HDA 9 to 9 a power adapter and basically that is it there is also a quick user guide but I will share with you how we will connect this and how to make it work now in terms of build quality it follows the ORE line of products a full metal enclosure which will help to dissipate all the heat so it will be a cool device but at the same time silent so it will not interact with our setup in terms of multimedia that being said let's take a look on how we can connect it and how we can make it work the HDA 9 to 9 features a HDMI input which is where we are going to connect our media source such as Nvidia Shield Apple TV Roku or any other multimedia device now in this particular case for the example I'm going to use my or one of my favorite devices which is the Nvidia Shield TV. So there we go. I've got my HDMI coming out from the NVIDIA Shield TV streaming device and it's going into the source on the HDI 929. And right next to it we have uh, ARC or eARC soundbar port where we will connect to our ARC compatible or eARC compatible soundbar or AVR. Now at this moment just for the example I've got this Ultimia right over here and as we can see it is compatible with ARC so let's connect it. So I just need to connect the cable on the ARC eARC soundbar with one end of the HDMI cable which is probably short one for this case and on the HDMI of our soundbar. So at this moment, what we have right over here with all the formats supported that I will try to put on the screen during the video is that we have all the audio and image coming out right out of here, getting into the HDMI 929. And at this moment, the audio will pass through all the codecs and everything that we can take advantage to our soundbar. Now at this moment we still have two free. So this one right over here is the ARC eARC TV output one which is where we are going to connect to our TV. So at this moment I just need to connect one HDMI cable right over here and then connect the other end of this HDMI cable to my TV. And this TV can be compatible with ARC or eARC or it can be non-compatible and it will work without any issues whatsoever but in case that we want the sound to come out from our tv which might be a case scenario what we would do right over here is probably we would dismiss our nvidia shield tv so we have no source right over here 
power source would come from the TV if we have eARC. And in that particular case, we will need to activate the arc eARC function with this button right over here. Now, just connected back to the NVIDIA Shield TV. So we have a source coming in and then it goes out to this sound bar and it will go out to our TV. Now, we also have another option right over here, which is the HDMI out to and this one reads audio only. This output is for soundbars or AVRs that do not have ARC or eARC function, but that do have an HDMI input port. And a common confusion with ARC eARC is that some soundbars only have one HDMI port, which is the ARC eARC port, like this one right over here. So people confuse it with the HDMI input, and that is not correct. So soundbars such as Sonos ARC would not connect to the audio only but through this one right over here like we have on this example. So basically to simplify, if you have any audio system without ARC support, you will be granted without any issues whatsoever. The only thing that we would require would be to disconnect this cable right over here, which is from our soundbar compatible with eARC. And we would connect to our sound system, which in this particular case on the example, would not have the eARC or eARC function. And now with the setup already connected so that we can see it working, I've got my NVIDIA Shield TV, which is my streaming device in this setup example, which is connected to the input right over here on the HDI 929. And then we have the eARC arc output connected to the sound bar and then finally we have the output one hdmi output one in this example connected to this display and we have mtd out too because we don't have any other audio system. So in this example what I've got right over here is this simple setup and if I press play one, you will which see means that we will be able to control that four different we are playing from the sound bar and I can just using one display, lower one the volume on the sound bar which is using the uh, audio capabilities that our device has. Now, all this has to do with the formats that my source device is capable of sending to the system. The Ore HDA929 will support everything that is available, including Dolby, Atmos, and so on, but you can check down below on the video description. If I had a system right over here that did not have the ARC capability, I just needed to connect instead of the ARC port right over here on the HDMI 2 to that older system but still has a great audio and I want to use it for example. One more feature that it has and I don't have a TV right over here, I've got this computer display which does not have ARC but if we wanted to extract as I said before arc from our TV. Let's say that I don't have the NVIDIA Shield, I only had my TV with great audio capability and so on and so forth, but I want to extract it to a better source. I would just need to connect it to, or oh, press the button arc eARC and I would get the sounds getting in from the uh, TV to my or a HDI 929. Now, as we can see, I've got right over here ARC eARC signal, but as is a display, and let me try right over here, no sound because we are extracting from a device that it's not compatible with ARC. So I needed to have a TV with ARC and then when we activate it, we'll extract the audio from here and send it directly to the sound bar. Now, if I press the button once again, I will disable that and we will start extracting the audio from our source right over here. And as we can see, or as we can hear, we already have the sound back from my NVIDIA Show TV and that coming out from the sound bar right over here. So hopefully this was helpful to show how the system can work in one of the main examples that we could use. And basically that is it. Hopefully it was helpful for you to understand a little bit better how we can solve a common issue with a simple device such as this, which will make our TV talk with our media streaming device, our soundbar, our older system 
system, audio system that we have in a really quick way and a great solution. So once again, link down below. Being said, hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. Today with the HDA 929. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.